What is up y'all? Welcome back. It's the Sephora sale video. Today we're gonna to be just doing a guide, essentially, of all the things that I love, that I recommend picking up during the Sephora sale when you get your discount. So it starts on the 14th, let me check, let me check. Starts on the 14th for Rouge and the 18th for VIB and Insider. Rouge is 20% off, VIB is 15% off, Insider is 10% off, and Sephora collection is 30% off the whole time. So I have like a lot of stuff that I'm excited about. I think last fall we were just in a little bit of a lull and I was really loving things that just weren't carried at Sephora, but Sephora has picked up a lot of the brands that I've been loving and also I have just fallen in love with a lot of like lifestyle items and things like that that are available at Sephora. I didn't have to dig deep at all for these recommendations and there are quite a lot of them. So I'm gonna share with y'all my recommendations of the things that I actually have tried and love. And I suggest if you are in the market for them, getting them while you can get a discount on them at Sephora. And I'm gonna tell y'all what's in my cart <laughs> because I also <clears throat> take this as an opportunity to go ahead and stock up on a lot of things for my own personal use, you know, just in my off camera life. And then also for things to test on my channel. So let's get ahead and jump in. Okay, so the difference here is that like when I'm talking about things that I recommend, like we're gonna be talking about like if this is something that you're in the market for, right? Because I think that we should all treat this like it's, it's a, it's a treat, right? We should treat it like it's a treat and not treat every day like it's Christmas, you know? But I think that it can be fun to indulge. Like beauty is not vapid. <laughs> beauty is a part of our lives that helps us express ourselves and like why not get a discount? And then when I'm talking about the things that are actually in my cart, please understand that like when I deep dive on brands for my channel, like I use the Sephora sale as an opportunity, as an excuse really, to maybe buy idiotic amounts of things. So just bear all of that in mind. That's the nature of my channel. <laughs> so first let's kick it off with makeup here. So I just noticed that this is now on the Sephora website. I'm so excited about it. This is, if you're unfamiliar, this is the Bosma foundation stick. It's the one that you're seeing in all the ads where the model or influencer, whoever they have on video, takes the stick and puts it like, you know, runs it down their cheek. And it's such a dead on shade match that like it's literally invisible. And this is not a joke. <laughs> this is like the best, one of the best shade matches I've ever had in anything. And it's just this like medium to buildable natural finish foundation that's in a stick that isn't greasy and it it's just beautiful. It's super lightweight. I really feel like they, they made a foundation that would work for almost everybody. It's a little bit on the combo side. I think that, you know, I can afford to use a good dewy primer with it, but I'm so impressed with it. It's $40. It comes in, I think, you know, 40 something shades, something like that. I mean, don't quote me on that. I review a lot of things, but I've just been so pleased with this every single time that I wear it. It makes me so like happy with my skin. It photographs beautifully. It isn't full coverage. The founder has um, burns, like she's a burn victim. And so she was, trying to create, well, she was trying to find a foundation that was full enough coverage, but also had like the right ingredients and had the high performance and everything like that for what she wanted for her specific needs. And I think that where she landed is actually something that's way more of a crowd pleaser than something that is like wildly full coverage. It's the only product that Bosma makes currently. And I just think that it is a winner. I love the packaging. I love the delivery system. I love the shade range. I love the performance. And it's not like Il Maquillage where they're just like hamming it up in those ads. Like, no, that's just a person putting on the foundation and the shade matches are amazing. They've just done a really good job with the range. So I highly recommend this. A couple of powders real quick that I feel like there are certain things where I'm like, hey, this is new and I need to talk about it. And then there are other things where I'm like, if I don't mention this, people are gonna be in the comments being like, well, do you not like that anymore? You know what I mean? So briefly, I wanna touch on these. These are my two favorite powders at Sephora. This is the Hour Hourglass. I mean, I do like the Hourglass powder, but I ran out of it. But this is the House Labs Bio Blurring Loose Setting Powder, and it's beautifully brightening and lightweight, just angel skin gorgeousness. It's super, super finely milled, comes in quite a lot of shades, and I love it, especially for that kind of almost like glowing skin. It does over brighten, I feel like sometimes, like I do still wanna mattify a little bit, but it's really good at giving you that nice finish without oil absorption without too much oil absorption. I am a dry skinned girly. I'm trying to preserve as much like, you know, dewy natural finish to my skin as I can. And so if that's not your needs, if that's not your needs, I'm really just like batting a thousand on English today. But if those are not your needs, then 
disregard, you know, but it's not, it's cause it's not going to do a lot for oil control and really neither does this, but that's why I like it so much. And that is the Kosas. This is clearly my favorite. I have a, a backup right here. I have another backup somewhere else. I, yeah, this is the one, this is the only powder that I use on an every, every, everyday basis. As you can tell, I've almost panned this, but this is the cloud set in the shade airy from Kosas. It gives me gorgeous, beautiful angel skin. It never complains. It adds the, just the perfect amount of blur, the perfect amount of like coverage, not really coverage, but it does help to adjust the way that the light hits my skin, which is the main thing that I'm going for with a powder is like, there are certain parts of my face that I don't want to reflect. Even if I do like a dewy complexion or a dewy appearance to my complexion, I still don't want my under eyes to reflect light. I don't want my lines right here <laughs> to like reflect light or like chin to reflect a bunch of light. So this is fantastic for like T-zone mattification and just changing the way that the light hits it so that it's not distracting to the eye and really like doing hardly anything else in terms of like makeup breakup or anything like that. It's so good. So good. I have a couple of bronzers here. These are actually going to be a little bit reminiscent of the video that I just did where I said like, if I lost everything, these are the first things that I would buy. So one of them would be the Makeup by Mario Cream Bronzer, which I didn't want you to get too close to because it's really gross. <laughs> There's something about this formula that just like attracts cat hair <laughs> or like fibers from your clothes or whatever happens to be kind of just floating around in the air and it just sticks, but it doesn't come back up on the brush. I kind of just want to take something and like, you know, get it out of there. But at the same time, I know it's just going to happen again. Anyway, <laughs> this is a really, really gorgeous formula. This is the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. He's got a skin enhancer. He's got a skin perfecter. He's got a bronzing stick, which I love. He's got a a matte bronzer powder that I love, but this one is my favorite. This is the one that goes on the most naturally and never, ever, ever stamps or picks up my makeup or disturbs anything. You know, the perfecter is going to have a little bit of shimmer to it. It has a little bit of a learning curve to it. The powder is great, but it's a powder and it's limited by the abilities of powder. And I love the cream stick. I do. And it's a fantastic investment. Honestly, I will still link it below, but this is so sheer and so beautiful and it just enhances does it enhance her. It enhances my complexion without ever looking like too much, you know? And it's, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And I wear the shade light in all of his bronzers. And that's why I keep buying them, honestly, is because I know I can count on the shade. The shade is always going to be great. And then the other one, you know, especially if you're going to get this stuff with a discount to the Gucci bronzer, now's the, now's the time. I love this stuff. I love it so much. Do you see how rosy it is here? I will swatch it against the makeup by Mario powder, just so you can see like the difference in the undertone because it's valuable for people who are quite pale and you don't want to have any bronzer that goes a little too yellow, too orange, or too green. It can be really nice when something leans in the safe direction of rose. So that's the Gucci right there. And it's rosy. It's so utterly beautiful. And the formula is lovely too. It's very, very velvety. And this is quite easily far and away my favorite packaging of anything that I own. I would like to think that I would have had like the spark of inspiration to create something this beautiful were I to ever create makeup, but I just don't know that anything could ever top it. It's in my eyes, just the art deco of it all, all the choices that were made on this particular component are perfect. My camera cut me off. It's perfect. It is a perfect component and it is a beautiful product. It goes on so beautifully and it does have the Gucci, like a very faint, I don't know. I think because I've had it for a while, it's faint. Probably right when you open it, it's not faint, but it does have the Gucci scent and I like that. I like it in a bronzer. Alrighty, let's talk about a couple of blushes here. How did I not talk about the Charlotte Tilbury blushes? Quick mention, these are off the charts. The new matte ones, matte beauty blush ones, the Pillow Talk one, the regular pink, the peach, off the charts gorgeous. This is what happens when I film these videos. There's just so much good stuff and it all kind of lives in the same place in my brain. And then just for whatever reason, I didn't buy these on the Sephora website. I bought these from her website. So it just was like in a different, a different part of my brain, so. Understand, these get my full-throated endorsement. I have not been able to put them down, so. <laughs> I just, I'm like watching myself, so I'm like, you're, you're not gonna talk about those, are you? These right here, 
I've said it once, I'll say it again. I keep waiting for them to start disappointing me and they just don't. I'm wearing both of these today and I'm so glad that I got both shades. So this is the House Labs Color Fuse Blush and I have it in the shade Hibiscus Haze and the shade Pomelo Peach. And they are the most beautiful complement to one another to create a really natural flush that you can kind of dial up or dial down in terms of warmth because this is going to be that really nice natural kind of neutral pink that does have a touch of blue in it that you can see and this is going to be that really like healthy flush of peach and they're not these aren't the only shades these are just the ones that i personally you know am in love with and as far as the formula is concerned like you look at that and you might think that's going to be difficult to control because it's such a pure pigment but it's, it picks up really beautifully and it blends really beautifully. It's very velveteen. A lot of her formulas are that kind of gel to powder texture. This is not exactly like the bronzers. It doesn't have that suede feeling to it. It's even finer than that. It's even silkier than that. I can't recommend these enough, especially if those are colors that resonate with you and they're not, they're not cheap. So get you a discount. <laughs> Alrighty, eyeshadows. I know I'm kind of like zooming through here, but I will link my other Sephora sale videos below if you're interested. I'm just not gonna like dig too deep on stuff that I haven't been using as much lately. I just feel like these are a little bit like newer and more exciting for me. This is something that I can't stop using. And it was something that I almost didn't buy because I had the Nouveau palette and I was like, I don't need rose metals. The Nouveau palette is in my rear view mirror. There, it is so nowhere near as practical for me, for my needs as, as this is right here. So this is the Anastasia Rose Metals palette and it is grunge perfection. You can dial it up or dial it down. These mattes right here for pale skin, unbelievable. Actually, that's not matte really. It's just like a funky, weird in-between neutral. Like this is called ashes and that's exactly what it looks like. And then you have all of these easy little spots to jump off from. A really good way to understand this palette if you look at it and you're like, that looks really disparate. Like I get where they're going in some directions and not others. It's actually three quads. They've just been kind of scrambled. It's kind of an earthen red quad. There is a muted green quad and then there is kind of a muted rose quad in here. And the combinations that you can get from this are so subtle, but so textural and so beautiful. And it's actually, I have that on my eyes today with uh, another thing I'm about to talk about, but like the mattes that are on my eyes today, I can't believe how much I reach into this palette specifically for the mattes because the matte formula is so beautiful and the colors just read really nicely on pale skin. Not ultra, ultra pale. I don't think I'm ultra, ultra pale, but for me, building an illusion, trying to build a believable looking shadow with a cool tone that is a matte that behaves in a way that I, I feel like I have a lot of control over, like these shades and like this gives me that, you know, subtle warmth that kind of enhances the eye without going full orange on me. I love this palette. And then if I am feeling like fully dystopian cowgirl fortune teller, these textured shadows, they're like you would buy in a single. Do you know what I mean? Like each of these could have been like $30 from Charlotte Tilbury, but they're just in pans. They're so, so gorgeous. I can get bedroom eyes out of it. I can get chaos out of it. I can get all kinds of things out of it. And I can also get something really like I did today, something really, really practical. Yeah, I think this is, if they still have it, I hope they still have it. I know that it's like limited edition there and I think it's just because they only have so many units of it, but hopefully you can still get it. The other thing that I have on my eyes today is this. This is just, a, I mean, honestly a placeholder because I love a lot of these, but this is my favorite one. And this is, it was, I always tell this story during the Sephora sale because I bought it during a Sephora sale. This is the Kaja Bouncy Eyeshadow Trio, Beauty Bento Bouncy Eyeshadow Trio. I bought this because it literally appealed to me. I just like was scrolling through and I was like, that looks beautiful, that was beautiful. I'm gonna buy that. And you know who else did? Amanda. And then like the next, the next Sephora sale rolled around and she was like, you need this. And I was like, I already have, like basically we just like cross recommended it to each other, like passionately. Cause it's just so good. It's just so good. The formulas are so good. And this is my favorite bedroomized brown that I own. So if you're unfamiliar with the idea of like a bedroomized color, it's going to give you this. It's going to give you that just kind of like moody, like slept in romantic eye that just looks like your eyes are just like, so it's like Marilyn Monroe, like soft, 
softly sexy, almost like your eyes are a little bit shut, you know, like, I don't know. So something that I recognized about the way that this color interplays with my skin is actually that like, when I find a good bedroom eyes color, it's usually pretty close to my hair color. So that's why I think that I like this one so much is it just starts to make everything look really at home in my complexion. And that can be a pretty good reference point for you too. I mean, that doesn't mean if you have black hair, you need to wear black eyeshadow, but it could be a jumping off point as far as just like holding it up to your hair and being like, oh, I see how like my natural hair color could be the thing that really enhances my eyes in a sexy way. So this comes in a ton of different colorways. There are full matte ones, there are ones with lots of texture in them, there are ones with a little bit of texture in them. And I have to say I prefer Orange Blossom, I prefer Peach Madeline, my hair is all falling out, it's not good. And I love uh, Chocolate Dahlia and um, the all matte, like suede one. But this is my absolute number one favorite. Rose Water is fine, it's a little cool for me. And the only other thing is like, Kaja just had just a bonkers, like cuckoo bananas <laughs> sale on their website a couple of months ago. So there's a likelihood that most of y'all who watch my channel already, you know, stocked up on these, but you really can't go wrong. You really can't go wrong. The textures are so beautiful and like, that's not bad. Like, are you kidding me? What? That's, that's in the orange blossom. So like you've got that bedroom eyes brown on the bottom and then you have this shade that's just like absolutely ridiculous, like electric, electric NARS orgasm, and then this really beautiful, just like soft, innocent ballerina pink on the top. This is a very, very useful little trio. And then the other thing that I have fallen back in love with, and this is going to kind of help bridge the conversation to more things about Hourglass. This is the Hourglass Scattered Light Eyeshadow in Ray. This is another one. Actually, I'm gonna swatch it next to that brown from Orange Blossom, because I think that they're pretty similar in shade. They just have different finishes. Because on me, these things all kind of start to go a little bit rosy when you spread them out and like feather the edges. They're not like that in the pan necessarily. Isn't that funny? So that's that's Orange Blossom. And then this one is the Scattered Light. <laughs> scattered Light costs more than Orange Blossom. And Orange Blossom is three shadows, but you know, there's also an amount of eyeshadow in there. But the nuances of the textures are important to note because, you know, as this one spreads out, as Orange Blossom spreads out, you're gonna really maintain almost this like foily satin finish, whereas this is called Scattered Light because the light starts to scatter. Like you start to get this beautiful, like little bit of celestial glitter that the light hits a little bit differently. I just find myself using it all the time. I talked about this recently. Why is my hair so flat? Cut it out. Hey, here's something that we're gonna be buying more of at the sale. Or bay. Dry texture spray. It's because I had to switch shampoos. So I was out of my shampoo and I had to use the whey shampoo and it <gasps> weighed my hair down. Good one, Khaki. Even on a low key day, I can make a pun. So anyway, oh, I recently have been digging back into my stash and being like, you know what? Let's take the temporal context out of it. Doesn't matter when it came out. What do I like, <laughs> you know? And I have to tell you, like this sparks joy. This sparks joy because every single time I wear it, I'm glad I did, so. That's why we're talking about it today. We're gonna talk about some more Hourglass things. This is something that, I think this might've been like one of my first purchases from a Sephora sale. I need to, I need to replace it. It's real gnarly. But this is the, still to this day, the best like super desaturated, pale, lavender leaning kind of, you know, rosy nude lip gloss I've ever owned. And it is the Hourglass Unreal in the shade Provoke. It is just like, so it's just so beautiful when I every time I put it on I'm just like glad I put that on all the colors are really beautiful This formula is plumping which I really appreciate it just gives me like sexy Lisa Rinna lips So I had to go dig it out of a coat pocket because I carry it with me I love it that much same goes for and I need to mention it because I don't know what I did with it It is in a coat pocket somewhere like I, I keep pulling it out and then I go ah, I remember where it was and I, I don't remember which coat it's in and it is the Ami Cole lip gloss in excellence that brown, it is so good. It's so good, it's so good. I just don't know what I did with it. <laughs> Makeup life, you know, but it's, it is, it's quite excellent. So more hourglass things here. If you're going to pick up a tubing mascara at Sephora during the sale, it should be the hourglass unlocked mascara. It's so wonderful. 
it's so good. It's what I'm wearing right now. Lightweight enough that it won't drag down a curl too badly and it builds really nicely. It behaves really beautifully. It is, especially if you can't get Thrive Cosmetics where you are, it is the most similar to the Thrive Cosmetics of anything that I have ever used. And it's a little easier to control. It does mature in the tube and they become virtually identical, but at least up front, it's a little bit like slower on the build, but I use it interchangeably with the Thrive. It's like, this is my black mascara and this is my brown mascara for whatever vibe I'm feeling that day. So I was feeling black mascara today. This from Hourglass is a recent I shall I say obsession. It's like they took that Unreal Lip Gloss formula and they said, well, let's make it something that's a little bit more up to date and a little bit easier to wear because it's a little lower pigment, but keep the plumping. A plus, I'm gonna sneeze. It's a, uh, All right, moving right along. So this is the Hourglass, I think they're called Glossy Balms. They don't have the name on here, but they are these beautiful, I mean, we've seen this delivery system before in other brands, right? It's kind of like the M Cosmetics or the ones, the new ones from About Face. I don't know, there are other ones. Either way, this is just the most, this is Trace. This is not the one I'm wearing today, but all of these shades are so beautiful and they have this fantastic amount of pigment in them that just reads so beautifully on the lips. It's really nourishing. Like it actually feels really healthy on your lips and it lasts a long time. And it does have a pleasant kind of plumping property to it. They sent this to me in a, like a trial box with a bunch of other stuff from Shop My Shelf. And I fell in love with it. And so I reached out to them and I was like, can I try more of them? And I think they sent me all of them. And they have all just blown my mind. None of them is milky to the point that they're not going to either show up or they're going to look kind of, you know, weird and gross on darker lips. They all have this beautiful sheer quality to them. This is the one that I'm wearing today. This is slip. And you would think, you know, that doesn't look, it looks like it's going to be almost mauve, but like it's kind of coral. And it just absolutely slays this look. And you know, you know, if you're on my channel pretty often, you know I'm not a lip color person. I will go for a clear lip gloss all day long just to uncomplicate my life as much as possible. I just like the way clear lip glosses look. This is like someone took, you know, a lipstick or something and turned it into a clear gloss for me. And it's, I'm always here for plumping. Always here for plumping. So yeah, huge fan of these. And they're another thing that is like not inexpensive, okay? great thing to get a deal on. Something that is a little bit less expensive, but I still recommend getting a discount on is the Rare Beauty, the new tinted lip oils, the soft pinch tinted lip oils. This is another one that's coral. This is Joy. I am way into this color. It's just so healthy and gorgeous looking. The unique thing about these is that they have a plumping quality to them. You can feel it. It's not I would say it's more spicy than it is minty, but it's not peppery. It doesn't feel like, you know, an old Too Faced lip injections or something, but it definitely does something and it'll kind of like irritate your lips a little bit and not in a bad way, but I mean, you'll notice a color flushing to your lips. I think that's the soft pinch of it all. That's what the product's called. And then even when that does go back down, you still have this beautiful color and it does also leave a stain behind. It's gorgeous stuff. Everybody's like, the stain is my favorite part. It's so pretty. It's so pretty and it's a brand new formula to me. I've never, like, I, I don't have anything to compare it to. It's not really a liquid lip balm. It's not really a lip gloss. It is more of a lip oil than most of the products that are claiming to be lip oils on the market right now. There's so many of them that say, that say that they're lip oils. I'm like, it's not a lip oil. It's like a lip gloss, you know? They nailed it in terms of the lightweightness of it, but it is still so tenacious. I think that lip oils, a lot of times my mind goes to, oh, that's going to run away from me. Look at the stain. It's so consistent and it's so pretty, but if you're not into a stain, steer clear, you know, it's a good thing to know. But especially if you are someone who likes their lip color to stick around, even when this fades, you still end up with honestly one of the more sophisticated stain appearances that I've ever seen. Cause most of the time lip stains kind of look like you've just been sucking on a popsicle and they're all weird and they like gather. This doesn't do that. It's so healthy looking. This is another one where it's like, if I don't mention it, y'all are going to be like, what about the Kosas? This is a Kosas concealer. It is my ride or die concealer that I use all the time. It's just the best one. Like if you want a concealer and it's gonna do the job and it's going to kill it for you, it's gonna be this, you know what I mean? Like, yes, there are probably going to be specific concealers out there that might do a different thing for a different person or whatever unique needs, but like 
crowd pleaser, this has the most coverage, the best finish, the best versatility, and it's it's got like caffeine in it. It's just like an eye cream. It's really, really lovely. And I wear 1.5C. Here's one, this is, I'm actually wearing this today. You know, I got distracted from this for a while and it definitely, you know, got kind of pushed to the back, but this is so lovely. I'm not actually, I don't know if I'm wearing any bronzer today. Let's put on some bronzer. I think I just did contour and blush, but I think we need to do some bronzer. So this is the Patrick Ta Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo in She's Statuesque. This is one of the best bronzer shades I've ever found for my skin tone. The color for me is just so excellent. I really love the contour shade. It is a cream. You can see I have done some damage to it. And the bronzer is also just one of those colors that as it goes on my skin, you're like, oh, that just looks like that just looks like that belongs there. So I had to mention it because I am getting back into using it. There have been there were a lot, there were a lot of bronzers that came out last year. <laughs> and it's, you know, when I'm kind of choosing one, I have a lot of options in my collection. But I saw that and I was like, that thing is so simple. I love it. So the only thing that remains in this box is actually a really good kind of bridge to the next topic because I have some fragrance to talk about. Commodity is has been one of my favorite fragrance houses for years and years and years, like probably before I started my channel. And my friend Hallie and I both are obsessed with the fragrance Gold. And the reason that not much love has been given to this bottle is because I had to work my way through a mini spritzer of it. Oh my gosh, if you like vanilla and like a little bit of woodiness, but not a lot, I'm not a big woody person. I'm not a, like the cedar person. This just has enough like base note to it that it's sexy and doesn't smell like Bath and Body Works, but it is just such a sexy, like almost unisex. Maybe they are all unisex. If a man smelled like this, I'd, I wouldn't mind. I would not mind. Commodity was big and they were at Sephora and then they closed down, I think during the pandemic, I'm not sure. And then they reopened again, which is really, really cool. So I am glad to see it. I want to, you know, encourage people to try their fragrances because I think that they're great. And I just want to see success for the company because selfishly, this is like one of my favorite perfumes ever. I'm a vanilla girl. I love vanilla. The other fragrance that I have in here is a lot more affordable. I mean, obviously like it's still expensive, but like you get so much of it and this is under a hundred dollars. This is Fresh Life and it is just the ultimate t-shirt and jeans sexy scent. Like it's like, what am I going to wear? It's just such a good, it's kind of like the equivalent of a Charlotte Tilbury matte blush wand. I even brought it up. you know, where you just are like, I just need to, I need to get the job done. You're gonna always love this and you're always going to get compliments on it. It is so lovely. It's jasmine-y, but it's soft. It's not like pinched or sugary. This is another favorite of mine. This is something that I picked up for myself because I emptied my last bottle. You know, I don't finish perfumes that often. I finished my first bottle of it. And then the other thing that's worth mentioning, I have to look and see if they have these. I think that these are new. Yes, okay, cool, cool, cool. So I am humbled every time I think about the fact that Mar Margella put me on their replica PR list. I mean, they reach out to me and make sure that like I'm, you know, <laughs> I still have a pulse before they send it because they're not just gonna like start flinging things out into the ether. But they sent me their two, two of their new diffusers. They sent me Lazy Sunday Morning and by the fireplace, which I already love by the fireplace, but I decided to try this one first. They are super potent in a good way. And I mean, you can control it by how many reads you put in the diffuser, but I just wanted to try something new because I had already worked my way through the by the fireplace candle. And I was just like, all right, let's, let's go. Like, let's try something new. Y'all, this, the personal fragrance version is in my Sephora cart. I fell in love with it instantly. Like you open the little cork lid on this and I just took the little cork lid and like put it on my wrists and I was like, oh yeah. Like, you know, you know what a hell yeah feels like? <laughs> like I just did a meditation with Chani today and it was just like about intuition and like tapping back into it. And it was like, what part of your body do you feel a yes in? What part of your body do you feel a no in? What part of your body do you feel uncertainty in? And it's like, this is the part of my body I feel a yes in. Like when I smelled it, I was like, and that is a fragrance that I want to wear all the time. It's lazy Sunday morning. So I'm going to be buying that for myself. And having this as like my bedroom fragrance, as you walk up the stairs, you start to just encounter the sillage of it all. And it is, it's quite a bit at first, but I feel like it mellows out and you get used to it. And 
Is it not just so beautiful to look at? So the notes here, it says soft skin and bed linen. Florence, 2003. I mean, come on. <laughs> this is me. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. I just I love it so much and they're $95 so it's definitely a good thing to get a discount on. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So this is something that's in a container that's like that but is in perfume and it will help bridge us towards the skincare category. So this is a bottle of the Caudalie Eau de Beauté, which I love so very much. Something that is worth mentioning with this is that, you know, Lila B closed down and I don't want to say that this is identical to the Lila B Aglow Face Mist. That stuff was just but this is very similar to that. And it's also just a great skincare product. It's an actual essence, you know, for your face in a spray situation. And sometimes I'm just that lazy, okay? Where I'm just like, I don't wanna put it on a compact and put it on my face, I just wanna, you know? And that's what this does. It's really, really beautiful stuff. And it makes a phenomenal gift. No one is going to kick this thing out of bed. They open this up, male, female, they, them, what have you? They're gonna open this up, you say spray it on your face and they're gonna go, all right, I just got a lifestyle upgrade, okay? Okay, like this is a crowd pleaser, it's so good. Another excellent one, okay, I don't know what that was. Another excellent face spray that I highly recommend is the Kosa's Plump and Juicy Vegan Collagen Spray on Serum. We're gonna get into it in a second, but I might have taken the tower card a little too seriously and just completely destroyed my moisture barrier because I have no chill. And, you know, I, I went off my biologic by pure accident and my face has been breaking out ever since. My skin was freaking perfect before that and now it's breaking out again. So I've been all on my like actives. Well, I went a little too hard. I knew I was going too hard, but I did it anyway because it's Aries season. And I woke up with like that feeling that you have where you're like, your skin's about to peel because it's like itchy. You're just like, oh yeah, let's go. While that's exciting, the itch is not that fun. And I just like pulled this out and sprayed it all over my face and on my neck and stuff. And I was like, wow, this is such an effective serum. Like it's so good. It's so nourishing. My skin was so happy. So yeah, they just sent me a new bottle of this, but I was very swiftly working my way through the old one. It's in glass. It's just a lovely serum. I don't recommend it for a setting mist. It'll break your makeup down. It's like not meant for that, but it is a really great skin prep and it's just a great skincare product. All right, let's, let's talk about those AHAs. <laughs> let's talk about all those actives and things like that that I've been putting on my face lately. This is one of them. And this is not the culprit for like, you know, destroying my moisture barrier. This is something that like, Ren has sent me many of these in the past and I've worked my way all the way through them. This happens to be a new one. They just sent me one. So this is the Ready Steady Glow Daily AJ Tonic. I'm sure you see this everywhere. I know that the first time, like they sent it to me and I didn't really think I needed it yet. And then I watched Julia Adams do her Sephora sale recommendations video. And this was like the first thing off the dome. She was like, you know, just stock up. This is my favorite thing in the world. And I started using it and I was like, I get it now. It's just really lovely as, you know, a treatment that's gonna actually help exfoliate your skin, like chemically exfoliate your skin overnight. It's just, I just put it on my towel. You know what I mean? On my towel, like on a dry end of my towel. And I just kind of put it everywhere. And it works great for like my shoulders and my neck and my chest for my KP, which also has gone absolutely buck wild after getting off my biologic and back on it. So this has just been really great. And it's like, an abundant amount of product. Do you know what I mean? Like this is not precious and it really is super potent. And I think that this is a better investment than something like the KP scrub or a KP lotion or something. Just distill it down to the active ingredients, okay? And get yourself a good tonic. And that's gonna do the job. Something that you might not know, uh, you know, there's all these kinds of suspicions, right? Everybody's kind of casting aspersions on Reddit and in comments and stuff where they're like, Sephora, favors the influencers, right? They know who the influencers are and they process their orders faster. Nay, nay, nay. <laughs> Most of the time when we're shopping for the Sephora sale in order to actually get a haul out before the Sephora sale is over, we have to order before the Sephora sale starts. I know, so most of the time, the things that are on our wish list and things like that, um, we didn't even get a discount on them, but I'm gonna get a discount on that freaking perfume, tell you that. So this is a case of that, where I was just like, all right, <laughs> let's go. I want it anyway, so it doesn't matter. So this is 
the Dr. Dennis Gross Extra Strength Daily Peel. This is the Extra Strength Daily Peel and I went for the big boy box. I am so excited about this. I used these for the first time last night. My skin went <laughs> and then I woke up this morning and I sent Tom a video. I said, but is my chin shiny? Yes, it is because my pores are being bleached off my face. <laughs> and they were like, hell yeah. <laughs> so if that's the kind of danger you're wanting to put yourself in, then might I interest you in these? So I had been using the regular strength Dr. Dennis Gross peel pads for a while. They are retinol. They're like straight up like, yeah, retinol. I don't know. What are they? It's fully eight. Seven AHAs and BHAs plus antioxidants and vitamins. Lift away dead skin cells along with excess oil and impurities while improving the appearance and uneven tone and texture. I don't even, I don't even know what's in them. They don't even tell you. They're just like, just put it on your face. I don't understand. But when I bought my Dennis Gross mask, I got these as part of it. Like it was just included in the box and I really liked the results. And then I found out they had an extra strength one and I was like, LFG man. Let's freaking go. And so I did this last night and even though, yes, my cheeks, and this is not the fault of this product, my cheeks are about to start peeling from another retinoid that I was using. Like it kind of irritated my skin a little bit too much. And like, I can feel my freckles lifting. This made my skin so smooth. I will soon be the proud non owner of an epidermal layer like Tom. I am speaking in hyperbole, y'all. You don't, don't go burn your skin off just to be like me, okay? I do not need that on my LLC. <laughs> Please don't sue me because you break your moisture barrier. I'm just saying like, these are really, really excellent and they actually kind of mimic the effect of a true chemical peel. Like when you, like you wake up and your skin is like glowing, but they are not uh, screwing around, okay? Like don't overdo it, don't overdo it. Okay, I think that that's it for like face, face skincare, but I would to briefly talk about this because I recently just got converted. This is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I, I put this on my lips and sometimes I put it under my eyes because my eyes are just that dry. Even with my eye cream and everything, I will put something like this or the glossierbalm.com, which is now relevant to talk about during the Sephora sale because they're at Sephora now, but they changed the balm.com formula just protect them with your lives, y'all. I just, they're, they're vegan now and I don't wanna talk about it. I will say what I always say, being vegan is a noble cause, but that lip balm was important. <laughs> and the important thing about it was the beeswax and the lanolin. <laughs> and it's not in there anymore and I'm just, I'm sad. So anyway, Laneige sleeping mask truly works for me, but I get a lot of comments from people saying that it doesn't. I don't know what the science is because there are things like Burt's Bees. I cannot use Burt's Bees. It will make my lips peel off of my face, okay? And some people these things work for and some of them they don't. And you know, I like, this just works for me. That's all I got. And I have the vanilla one and I like it a lot. Doobie, doobie doo. I have another one of these right on the floor because I love them so much. Yeah, these are floating around in my life constantly. Start with the Orbe. We have the Orbe Dry Texture Spray. This is the meaning of life. This is what makes me look like I have hair, especially as I'm going through a very stressful time in my life where my, my scalp has just gone, <laughs> and just like I, I look down in the shower and I'm like, oh, there it all is. We're back in Baldville, so that's, that's fun. Like my ponytail is back to being like microscopic again. I'm like, give me all the texture spray. And then there is the Orbe Super Fine Hairspray. There are different ones of this, but I just use the regular Super Fine Hairspray. Fell in love with this at Ingrid's house. I like it so very muchly. It's very, very good, especially for people who don't need their hair weighed down, but they do need hold. And then this was something that I was influenced by Amanda to get because she did a demo of it on her Instagram, Amanda Z. And I watched her hair just like go from being fantastic to being like, you know, off the charts, ethereal, fantastic. And I was like, okay, Amanda can sell me a hair product. Beware, Amanda can sell you a hair product. So can Kelly Gooch. But uh, yeah, this is the perfect hair day advanced clean dry shampoo from Living Proof. So they have multiple ones, but I like the advanced clean. It just works really, really well for me. Uh, actually cleans hair, softens and uh, adds shine. And I just, I it's my ride or die. It's just the best and it smells nice. I really like the smell of it. I included this. It's a Glossier lip gloss. I just think that like, this is a good opportunity. I will I will put a link to my Glossier video for when they got to Sephora. I'll put that down below so that I don't belabor all that stuff. But hey, yeah, get, you know, your percentage off at Glossier. Back when they first put me in the rep program, 
for Glossier back in like 2017, we did offer a 20% discount and that was legit. So if you can get your 20% discount, that's, that's like the old days. All right, I always forget to mention this. So I was like, I'm putting it in here. I'm not going to give myself the chance to forget. Oh my God, this is the best deodorant. Okay, so this is the Kosa's, I use the fragrance free, Kosa's Sport Chemistry AHA Serum Deodorant. Oh my word, it took me so many years to find a deodorant that actually works. This has a couple of AHAs in it, I wanna say, but the main one for me is mandelic acid. It actually works. Am I a stressed out person right now? Yes, I am. Am I also wearing cashmere? Yes, I am, and I need my sweat not to stink, okay? And this does that. Even the stress sweat doesn't stop you from sweating, but it stops you from stinking. Two devices. You know, I've talked about the Dr. Dennis Gross mask in the past, and like, I still think that like, it's fine, but it doesn't do what this does, okay? I For anti-aging, there's that one, and I love my, I love my current body mask, and I also now have the neck one too. <laughs> but anyway, for blemishes, y'all, Dennis Gross, that mask, it's just not gonna do it. It's not gonna do what this can do. And I'm honestly tempted to go get the light stem for wrinkles now, because I think that this is more potent. I just think it's stronger. I could be wrong, but I just notice such an effect from this. Like if I sit there and let this thing cook for its full cycle of like 30 minutes on something, goodbye. It's going to actually treat breakouts like this thing that's healing on my forehead. Like, of course, all the discoloration needs to go, but like that was a raging breakout a few days ago. And look how convenient that size is. This fits perfectly in that area. I mean, I just toasted it. You can't do it too much. And I just never, ever, ever had an issue with it. Like it's never fritzed. It's never, you know, I've never had to replace it or anything. I've had it for years and I just use it like a workhorse. And it is, it's a light stem for acne and it just kind of, it kills the bacteria underneath the skin with the red lights and it does the work. It does it. So that's why I keep talking about it. It's so good. And then we have my new face mini. This is a big, this is just a favorite of mine in terms of like, you know, self-care and things like that. It's just nice to kind of get a, a good snatched appearance on your skin. I used to think that like you would only see the benefits of this if you used it every single day, but really you notice them immediately because it just kind of like gives your face a little, a little microcurrent workout. And then, you know, you're just a little bit more snatched. So it's a really good opportunity to get a discount on something like that too. So those are all the things that I recommend. And I'm just gonna stop myself there before I start just like digging through my collection because we could talk about like Pat McGrath lip glosses, you know what I mean? Like you'll notice there's no Pat McGrath in here, not because I don't recommend Pat McGrath, but just because Pat McGrath tends to put her stuff on sale lately, you know what I mean? So like, you know, do, do whatever is the most convenient for you, but we're going to open up my, uh, my wish list right now and I'm gonna tell y'all what I'm, I'm getting. Okay, first thing, and this was a recommendation from Natalie, my skintrist on Instagram, she sent me a link to the Hourglass Equilibrium Intensive Hydrating Eye Balm because she also has dry under eye issues. She has even drier skin than I do, which I, I want to go help. Like if you have drier skin than I do, like I, I just want to go over to your house and like wrap you in Aquaphor and Saran Wrap. Like I just want to help. But anyway, yeah this recommendation coming from her specifically like the source matters so she said it's not like the best eye cream in the whole world but it's very effective for helping with the appearance of your dry under eyes and it works great under makeup that was her recommendation so that's the hourglass equilibrium intensive hydrating eye balm and then i want to get the laura mercy i've talked about this the laura mercy real flawless luminous perfecting pressed powder the Laura Mercier powders are kind of legendary, right? Everybody loves the loose powder so much and this is a new pressed powder version of it and I'm hoping that I really like it. I like her new foundation, but it, the colors are a little bit funky, I, but I think that this is gonna be, I, I think it's gonna be an easy win. I'm also picking up some of the Necessaire body wash. I, you know, you just don't know until you're right there, you know, buying things like a checkout. You're just like, what would I pick? It's gonna be, it's gonna be the Necessaire body wash. I like the package. I like the, the niacinamide and everything that's in it. I think it does a really good job. It lasts for freaking ever because it's very concentrated. And 
it's no fuss on my skin. That's the main thing. I don't want fragrance in it or anything. I just want my skin to be clean and to have an option that isn't going to like leave buildup on my skin and give me more freaking keratosis pilaris. And I have, you know, been sent bottles of it in the past, but this is the first time I think, no, it's not the first time because I bought it right when it first came out. But this is the first time in a long time where I bought it for myself and I just like it. I, I know that like in the past I've said it's just a body wash, but that's kind of the point, you know? I need something that's just a body wash. And then I was out, <laughs> so weird. I was like living in body butterville for a long time. <laughs> Someone please just take that out of context. Just, it, it, I was living in body butterville. And then I just burned through all of it. I'm just an absolute like lotion monster. And so I was like, okay, well, if I'm gonna just like pick a lotion, what's it gonna be? And I went for the Kiehl's, the creme de corps, Creme de Corpse, the body lotion in French. Name in French, refillable hydrating body lotion with squalene. That's the one that I'm doing. I've used it before. I like it. I just need a basic lotion that I can then put like oils and you know, my uh, big up body glaze on top of. I just need like a base layer. Then we have the Coolfi Zari Eyes Long Lasting Crease Proof Cream Eyeshadow. I've also been reached out to by the company. They said that they want to send me some stuff. So I hopefully will have more of these to try, you know, like so that I can actually share them with y'all, but I've loved everything that Coolfi has done so far. And in my cart, I have Bronze Brocade. The next thing, and this was an influence by Brittany Balin. She is a single mom on Instagram and on, you, on YouTube, I think. She's just lovely, okay? I just love her. She's a lot of fun. And her kid is like pretty much the same age as Simon and I just love watching her. So she just, she did this like, Instagram reel where she called it the mommy shower and she used this stuff that's called the day Cactus fruit three-in-one styling cream and she just squirted like a whole mess of it in her hair and just slicked her hair back in like the most Beautiful sleek bun I've ever seen and I was like add to cart <laughs> I was like give me that because I am just like the queen of like flyaways and curly hair and things like just you know textures and stuff Getting in my way and of course my hair just keeps falling out and regrowing so that's fun And so anything that'll just kind of slick it all down. I'm really excited about that I can't wait to try it. So gonna get that and then I did stock up on my Drunk Elephant, all my Drunk Elephant shampoo and lotion. So my uh, glossing shampoo, so my hair will stop lying down like this. It's driving me crazy. And then the Coco Mino Marula Cream Conditioner. And then also the TLC Glycolic Body Lotion, which is, you know, part of my two-step routine to eradicate KP from your body. One, step one. And I honestly, I thought they were already there and I won't be surprised if I see soft services at some point carried at Sephora. I just think that they need to, but the soft services, micro crystal buffing bars, absolutely game changer if you have KP. And then, you know, after you've scraped off that top layer of skin, which I'm, I do violently in the shower, you put that glycolic body lotion on top of it. And let me tell you, <laughs> your skin doesn't stand a chance. Okay, that KP says goodbye. That's that's why I stay, stay stocked on that. The Tower 28, they, they finally put it in a little duo. So the Tower 28, it's a movement lip gloss and cream blush duo set. I'm gonna buy it. Okay, like it's just, that's just what I'm gonna do. It's full sizes of them both so that I can try them. And then we have a couple of kind of like wild cards in here. Okay, we got the Guerlain Terracotta Latin Healthy Glow Foundation. And that is because I already bought it and I bought it in the neutral shade and the neutral shade was like, wildly yellow. The Gucci was green. This one is like pretty yellow. And so I bought the cool toned one. Uh, I think it's gonna be really peach, but maybe when I mix them together, we'll break the space time continuum. I don't know what's going to happen, but I just, I wanna give a good review on it because I know people are interested in it and it might just be a review that they put too much freaking pigment in the pale shades, okay? And that they're weird. <laughs> that might be the review, but I need to know. And then the other thing, I think this is new. This is the Givenchy Prism Libre Skin Caring 24 Hour Hydrate and Radiant and Correcting Concealer, which goes against everything I believe in because I don't know where that thing is. My Givenchy Prism Libre powder is still stuck on medium. Like it's still just kind of like half unscrewed and just like, well, I need to like take a, a saw to it or something and empty it into something else. Except the whole point is that there are four different shades. I'm just, frustrated about that. But anyway, I'm gonna buy the concealer to just see how it is. So I will give you all, I will give you all feedback on that. 
But if there's anything else that you want me to pick up, it is not too late to tell me, okay? Like put it in the comments, anything you're curious about, I want to know this is my job. This is our ongoing conversation. <laughs> it's my job to turn the looks. So I hope that this was fun for y'all. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you're excited to pick up. I'll put a video over here. Actually, I'm gonna put my Sephora sale playlist up here so that y'all can look at it. And thank you for watching. I love y'all so much. And I'll see you in the next one, bye.